Hi, I'm Connie. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're one of the subscribers, welcome back to Chippewa Sister Soap. Today, what we're going to be talking about, I've got my buddy Kyle here, and we're going to be talking about soap dough and how we deal with soap dough. Um, we're going to make some embeds, and we're going to do a little bit of, of extruding, and we're going to talk about that. So if you want to see what we're going to do, stay right there. Chippewa Sister Soaps, my friend Connie. Today we're going to show you how to make soap dough. Don't be intimidated, it's very easy to make. Well, hey Kyle, how's it going? Good, how's it going, Connie? It's going good. Are you ready to make some uh, soap dough embeds? Let's make some soap dough, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, soap dough used to intimidate me, and every time I had extra soap left over from a recipe, like if I poured a bar, and I had some embeds, or if I just had multiple colors and I had some extra, I usually used to just pour them into a bar mold. Oh, okay. And then I watched a video, and they were showing how to make soap dough. And I started thinking about it, so I just would take some of my extra recipe, and I'd put it in a container with a lid, and I'd let it set for a couple of days, and then the next thing I know, if you can see that, like it's very pliable in that, um, I can make soap dough and you can add whatever color you want. I've been successful at adding micas into the soap dough to make any color that I want. So just save all your extras. Yeah, just save your extras for your soap dough. And then I've already got some made up and today we're gonna be making a soap that's got uh, a full moon with a wolf howling at the moon and stars in the sky. So, um, we need some embeds to go in that. We need six more star embeds. I already started making some. And what we're gonna do in order to make that happen or achieve that is I've got this metal clay extruder right here that I purchased off of Amazon. And so we've got one of these. I've got, I'm really bad about losing everything. So, yeah, yeah. so I cannot find the other discs. Uh, for the, the the whole pack of discs, I and put them pretty somewhere. Re pretty reasonably priced, huh? Yeah, they're, it's like uh, I think I paid like nine dollars for this one. So yeah, that's pretty fun. And you, there's got all kinds of shapes and lots of things you can put you to can combine use those it for shapes. Soap or for cookies? Yeah, you do. cookies or or even Cook, like uh, some soft candies too, maybe clay. You mm -hmm. can also use it with that uh, FEMA clay. So oh, okay. all right, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you. I've already got some soap dough here in this container all right we need to make and we've what you do is you screw this extruder you can see it's got soap we've been working with it but you you screw this loosen it up so that the the end that pushes the soap dough out is all the way to the bottom so and then you take you take some soap dough and you just like when you were a kid like you got play-doh you try to make a, a tube, make a worm. Make a worm. Oh, I used to do that all the time when I had play <laughs> Yeah, make a worm that's... Or roll them out, on, roll them out there. And do that it, will uh, fit in here. Yeah, and then we'll put some more in there. Make yourself a tube. See, and you don't even have to really... I mean, yeah, you got you to work it and knead it, but... It's still worth it in the long run. It, it works, saves money. And... It works out great for me. It really, what I like about it so much is that it just 
makes it to where like I, I can do whatever I want with this. Any I can shapes, any colors. Yeah, I can cut it. So, and this is another thing I recommend doing is when you start screwing it down, hold the hold your finger over the end. Unless you sit there and fill the whole tube. Yeah, you but still that's hard to, to you, you still to you still gotta do it out, to yeah. prime the air out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's wanting to come out. Here, so so I'm gonna go ahead and let's make one. And it's pretty forgiving. You think, oh no, see, you, see, I got some air in there. Mm -hmm. You think, but you just keep screwing and hold it in the same place. And here it comes. You can feel it when the pressure starts building back up. You're always going to have that. Adult. And then I want these to be the length of my mold. So, and you see, I'm, here, I'll get it. Okay. It's, it's kind of weird doing it at this angle. I'm going to give Kyle a go at this after I get done with this one. When I first got this, me and Kyle had a heck of a time with this. <laughs> yeah. We made some stars for that soap dough bar. And this is really nice and, you know, thick and easy to work with, so I think that one's long enough. Mm -hmm. All right. Now mm -hmm. what's good to do is I know that I'm gonna put this in one of those silicone molds so you can see, I need to dewash this. So that's how long it's gotta be. And don't worry about any kinks that you get in it because when we found that, when we put that um, in the soap. The, there's another bubble. Yeah, there's another bubble. That's all right. It'll still be a star in there. When it's got little kinks and curls and stuff in it, I thought, oh no, they have to be perfectly straight. No, they don't. They, that, and I'm so glad because I'm such a slob. Oh, what's well, cool though, when they're like that, it's like the stars are moving, like the days are changing, if you ever notice it, but most people would notice that though. Well, mostly what they get is the shape of the star. It's not so much the curve. Look at that, that's perfect, yay! That's long enough to go. We got two out of there. Great. Okay. Go ahead and not as good as yours, but it's only I don't I don't do this very often, so I got I'll start getting to it sooner or later. Okay, I'm gonna have more time. Okay, so let's squeeze the rest. What I like oh, to good, do good. is I like to squeeze the rest out because mm -hmm. then it's easier to reload. And then if you would, Kyle, hmm? go ahead and make us another play doh or a clay yeah, snake. A I'm going to call mine, I guess this is more like soap clay. It is, molding. Yeah. Moldable soap. Yeah, it's like using a Play-Doh made out of soap. And I found that like fragrances, like if you have extra soap dough that's got fragrances in it or something. Mm -hmm. um, your embed's not that huge. It might affect your scent a little bit. If you use a huge embed with it, yeah. Like those trees that I did. Yeah. Um, that that lent to the smell, but uh, um, mostly the, it doesn't, it doesn't affect it. If you have, um, if you have fragrance in your, in your soap batter or colors in it, just use it. And if it's a light color, I found that I can even like color it or combine yeah. colors, combine colors and, and add to them. And then you just, Okay, I say we give Kyle another go at this. <laughs> okay. All right, you do one, Kyle. Yeah, you gotta practice. Huh? Practice makes perfect. All right. And one thing I do recommend with this, one thing I do recommend with, with the soap dough is, or the soap clay, um, is when you, when you're not using it in between uses, cover it up because it does start to dry out pretty quickly. So, and, and I haven't had any problems with any shrinkage. Do it right next to this one, honey, cause, okay. and do it the same length, because we know that's the length of the mold. Switch hands there. Okay. Okay. 
Dun, 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 dun. Good job, Kyle. That's it. And then you don't want to push on them too hard because what's wrong? It's all it's in there. What? Mm hmm. Okay. No, there was more. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. yeah just start over. That was more. It's just. If you get it run into an air bubble like that, and you can see that your see that your little turny thing, I don't mm -hmm. know what you would call that, your handle, your spinning handle, if if that's still way out there, then you know that you've got more soap dough in there. So just keep uh keep going until until it's all the way at the bottom. And it doesn't mind for those little kinks that that right there. Like, I'll try to put that in a line. It won't even matter. Like, where it gets sliced. Mm -hmm. Or not even bother with it, because it'll still just, like, like you said, look like a shooting star or something. Mm -hmm. Something moving, or... Oh, yeah, that's nice, Kyle. Good job. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish what's in there. Yeah, I'll let you finish what's in there, and then we'll show them what they end up with. <clears throat> All right, so do it, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forgot about thinking about that, the spacing in the handle. Mm-hmm, that's all right. What do you think about it? So uh -huh. what you end up with is these... After you let them dry for a little while, you end up with these nice little bits here that you put along along your mold. And every bar you slice, you'll see a star on the end. And I'll give you an example. Yeah, so this is pretty fun. You know, it's a good hobby. And don't worry about making a mess because your mess cleans itself. So no matter Ooh, how pretty. no matter how curled up or how kinked those stars are, when you cut them this way, that's what you end up with. So don't worry about that. All it does is add to the character of it. All right. That's Thanks beautiful. a lot. Have a great night. Bye. See you Bye. Later.